Hello guys and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you 5 things that will help you save time and make your life easier while using Blender. So just before this starts I'd like to say this isn't going to make you uh, make intros like Braz or work like Blender Guru, whatever he's called, Andrew Price. Um, this also, um, you'll know most of the things that I tell you if you've been using Blender for more than one year. But uh, even if you have been using Blender for more than one year, there might be one or two things that you learn from this which will help you save a tiny little bit, little bit of time. So I do advise you stick about towards the end. So in number five, we have a pretty cool one. And uh, a lot of people don't know this, actually. When uh, the Blender values, you can actually type in mathematical equations. So uh, say you have to times a value by three, and instead of, um, if you can't do it in your head, instead of getting out a calculator and typing in the values into a calculator, you can actually just click on it and then do times three, and then it will automatically times it and put in the answer. You can do the same, you can add 15 or take away or divide, do whatever you want. You, I'm pretty sure you can even square root, I'm not entirely sure. But um, it will allow you to do all sorts of mathematical equations which will remove the need to open up a calculator and then type it into there which will save, uh, I don't know, a couple of seconds but it, it's definitely worth it. So in number four, we have one that a lot of people know, but not many people actually do. You can actually download Blender through Steam. And if you guys don't know what Steam is, uh, Steam is this program which you can download where there's a massive library of games which you can buy from, and Blender is in it. Now, uh, a lot of people are currently thinking, oh yeah, what's this going to do with it? It will actually automatically update Blender for you every single time a new update comes out, and it's only like one or two days late. Uh, which is really, really cool. This removes the need to go onto the website and check if there's a new version every other week um, and then download and install or reinstall it and then still have the old version installed and then eventually just clog up your hard drive. So in number three, we have a more performance-oriented tip. Now this one is for the Cycles render engine only. If you go uh, under the render panel, in the properties panel on the right hand side. If you go to light paths, open up the drop down menu. There are two reflective core sticks ticks which you can untick. Now reflective core sticks um, are used for glass. As long as you don't have any glass materials in your scene, you can turn these off and your render times will be improved massively, especially in Minecraft scenes. Um, and I will leave a link in the description on a tutorial which teaches you how to optimize your blender to render faster. I know it changed my Lightroom's render speeds from like 12 seconds all the way down to 4 seconds, which is quite, quite good. So in number two, we have a more audio orientated tip. Now this one is pretty useful if your computer isn't quite as fast and doesn't manage to play back the intros um, at the correct frame rate which you set it. So in the top left hand corner when you play something through it says the frame rate and if it ever goes red um, it means that the audio is playing faster than the actual animation. Go down to the bottom if you, next to the playback functions and next to the auto keyframe there is a little drop down menu and if you change it from no zunk to AV zunk what this will do it will um, automatically uh, zunk up the audio and the playback so the audio will no longer play ahead whereas the animation lags behind. Uh, this is very useful when animating for Minecraft intros. I know as soon as I have more than like three rigs in my Minecraft world um, it just completely dies on me and um, you can actually see the actual speed they play back at. So in number one, we have a tip which the larger majority of you will know, but if you don't know this, this will help make your life a lot, 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 lot easier. So this is uh, the zinking of the audio tip, so when you're creating intro and you want to create your zinc, finding the keyframes, this will help you a lot. Now if you go to the video editing view, where you add your audio strip, if you go on to add uh, sound and then your music, if you right click on that like greeny, bluey, turquoise type bar, if you right click on it and click end, the properties panel shall appear. And if you then scroll down all the way to you see draw waveforms and you check that option, it will draw the waveforms. And now you can see like the weird squiggly lines 
Now, when you get to know Blender, you will know how they work and um, where you can eventually, you'll be able to see where the drop is by just looking at them. Uh, you won't have this ability at first, but when you are when you get used to zinking, you'll be able to see there's a drop there, there's a drop there, there's a drop there. Also, if on the left-hand side, there is this weird like line you can do because it's really thin and it's really hard to see. And when you zoom in, it doesn't make it any thicker. If you drag this down, it will make the actual bar a lot, lot thicker and a lot easier to do your synchronization to. Also, if you go down to the timeline and go to playback and enable audio scrubbing, um, if you then scrub through the timeline, it will actually kind of play it through. And this will help you find the zinc, especially to like drops, a lot easier so thank you guys for watching this and please remember to leave a like if you did learn something new and if you didn't learn something new you already know, knew all of these facts you should give yourself a pat on the back because you are generally very good at blender and um, you have taught yourself well or however you taught yourself you're pretty good um, if you do want to see me do more videos like this, leave some suggestions on videos I should make them the blow because I'm kind of getting bored of intros because they're very grindy. Um, I will still carry on making them, it's just they're not as fun as they used to be. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys next time.